it's time to start a legend. So you want to learn about this dumb Amber build, huh? All right, Amber. A lot of people don't like him because he has a he has a voice, and other people do like him because he likes alpacas. But what if I told you he's actually a pretty good unit? All right, so a lot of people do know he's a good unit. Some people are non-believers, like Lynn here. She's very skeptical of him. You can just see it in her eyes. She doesn't believe in this build. This is a very cheap to make build. So here's what he has. He has speed plus three and lance power one. Now you could get him lance power two to three or even higher. The higher, the better. And for weapons, he just really needs a steel lance, a silver lance, or a fencilar plus five. Now silver lance, you'll probably get it at like plus three. Getting a silver lance at plus five is insane, but fencilar is definitely better than steel lance here. However, uh, Steel Lance does get a little bit of crit. Marth Engraving gives damage hit, a little bit of a void, a little bit of a crit, and I think a little bit of dodge. So we're basically rolling for slight crits here. That's the idea behind using Steel Lance. Now he doesn't double some of these enemies right now. He is on speed plus three, but what I could do is I can have him Astro Storm something. So like, let's say I wanna kill like a ranged threat. So he has 45% strength growth at base, and then on Paladin, I think he's 55 which is pretty good. He's either 55 or 60. So every 10 level ups, you're looking at at least five to six strength, like points of strength. So as he levels up, he should be getting, you know, significantly stronger than other units, aside from other units that have high strength. Uh, so he, once he starts speed taking, he will start doubling and one rounding. The nice thing about this build is he's like reasonable in terms of like durability and stats. He's not the most durable, but he's good enough where he can leverage his strength. He's basically the thing Etie, like a lot of the people that like Etie claim that she can do things like this, where if you just throw her on Lin, she'll just pop off. But she's statistically inferior to him, and in a way he's statistically inferior to Panette, but I think he has better speed slightly. And I think Etie also has better speed than Panette. But he's a decent option for master, you just master seal him, you throw some cheap passives on him, speed plus three, it's 500 SP, lance power one, 1000 SP. You could put lance power two on him, this total, like the total of this build would cost you 2.5K SP. Uh, right now he is sitting on 500 SP as well. So he's almost to lance power two. So if you wanna improve the damage, you can do that. But it's a pretty simple, straightforward build that can usually Moolajir kill off of his strength, and then you can always damage boost with spur attack and a leer for that plus five damage so that you can kill enemies at range. And then once he starts speed taking, he will be decent. He's not gonna be like the best thing ever. Like there's definitely better builds, but it's a pretty, it's a pretty viable build, or not viable, it's a pretty decent build. It's really cheap. It's been working this entire time. So it's worth mentioning, I think, at this point. Uh, let's see, we're dealing with these two. We have a flashing fist. So that actually is a threat. <laughs> that actually might be able to kill Chloe here. So that's a problem. I might have to rescue her if I have it. <laughs> I, don't I, don't, I don't I didn't notice that a flashing fist. Also, I haven't moved these units. <laughs> this we're on like turn two or three. Yeah, turn two. These units haven't moved. So Chloe might be dead, but that's not part of this video. She could be saved with like obstruct spam, but Anyways, Amber is pretty decent, and on this build, you get a decent damage units that can typically one round with low investment. Now, what would be better than this? Probably, maybe Kagetsu? I feel like Kagetsu's strength is lower. Well, I know his strength is lower. His strength is a little bit lower. So he wouldn't have as much damage. So you do need more speed fixing than Kagetsu, but Kagetsu would need more damage fixing to run a similar build. So for... 1500 SP, you get a decent build that one rounds, and then of course you have an engraved Steel Lance or an engraved Fencil Arm, and then he can use Moolajir for range. Like, look at the damage difference between Moolajir and Javelin. It's pretty, it's a really powerful weapon, actually, and it also can one-shot flyers. So, and it's effective dragon too, which is, I'm not sure if that matters, because most things that fly are also dragons, or most dragons also fly. Uh, Manicotti, he could leverage this. Killer Bow is kind of a meme. He could leverage the Manicotti to some degree. It has a little bit of crit on it, and it, you know, is effective against two things. So you have a lot of effectiveness, 
but it's just like a decent Lin build that's cheap. And it's worth mentioning because it's been working really well this playthrough. I would say it's like an A tier build. And of course you can make him better by adding, you know, getting speed to speed plus four or five. So that his starting speed is higher. So his starting speed would be, let's see, I'm getting, so the effect, so he's had two speed takers. So his starting speed would be 23. So that's not bad. And then once he gets a kill, he gets plus two speed from the speed taking. And then the Lance Power just helps him fix his damage. So if you get if you want to go all out, you could get him Lance Power 5, but Lance Power 2 to 3 is probably more than enough. Lance Power 3 is very reasonable, especially if you're just getting speed plus 3. And that's pretty much it. Pretty simple build, pretty straightforward. Usually can kill with Mulajir. He actually was able, you might notice he has a speed wing on him. He was able to kill the enemy thief on chapter uh, 18, who tries to escape with Mulajir without damage boost from, from Malir. So that's pretty decent. I mean, that's pretty much what you want, right? Like you want the Mulajir unit to be able to one round something like a non-flyer, ideally. Now certain things it's not gonna one round with Astra, but if you can kill key targets that matter like thieves, that's very important and useful. Especially on like chapter 20 where there's those thieves in the darkness and it can be hard to track them down and kill them. So yeah, that's it for this one. Amber is a decent unit. <laughs> You've heard it. You've heard it here first. You definitely haven't. All right. Thanks for checking this out. Peace.